Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about Mullen Automotive Inc., ticker symbol M-U-L-N, because this stock has surged by around 426% just in the last month. The current Mullen stock price is trading at around $3.21 right now, and we have fantastic news surrounding this company. So in this video, we're going to talk about how this $3 stock can surge over $13 per share and potentially $23 per share. We're going to be going over what institutions own this company, why some insiders are selling the stock, the latest stock news updates for this electric vehicle maker, and I will go over the reasons why I personally am not going to be owning this company anytime soon. So this is just informational. I am not advocating for you to buy this company. I am just increasing the amount of information you have regarding this company so you can do what's best for your personal portfolio. So for more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below and without further ado let's jump right into today's stories so according to market beat brokerages right now forecast that mullen automotive ticker symbol m u l n in their upcoming earnings report that they're going to release an earnings per share of 13 cents on the positive side this is going to be a substantial increase from what they posted in the same quarter last year which was actually a loss of six cents per share this suggests a very positive year over year growth rate of around 300 and 16% in total, which is absolutely phenomenal. And they are also scheduled to issue their next quarterly earnings result on Wednesday, March 30th. So if you are invested into the stock, feel free to look at that. Or if you're just watching the stock for a good trading opportunity, this might cause a catalyst for the Mullen stock price to surge even more, along with the other catalysts that we're going to be looking at in this video. According to MarketBeat, the analysts that they have surveyed actually forecast that their earnings for the entire year are going to be around 75 cents per share. And this, of course, is referring to their next fiscal year. Zach's earnings per share calculations are actually an average of the various analysts that they surveyed. So from an earnings per share standpoint, if this is accurate, this could actually be pretty good. In other news, Mullen Automotive's CEO, which you probably have already heard, has sold around 200,000 shares of Mullen stock at an average price of around $1.65, granting him liquid capital of around $330,000. Now, I've actually answered a couple comments about this, and I said it could be that they need to cover personal expenses, that they need to pay off taxes, or that they have lost faith in that overall company. However, based on the CEO's recent interview, he actually said that Mullen Automotive has a very bright future, and he's very excited for the upcoming Mullen 5 EV crossover, which is very exciting. Now, I do want to say that although he said that they have a bright future, if any anything, of course, the CEO is always going to talk very positively about their company because it's going to impact their bottom line. So at least investors need to be aware of that. However, we do need to weigh this against the net selling and buying of Mullen shares when compared to their overall amount of insider activity. For instance, insiders over the last 12 months have purchased around 1.7 million shares and they only sold around 800,000 shares. The exact number of their net activity actually says that their insider have purchased around 924,786 shares, and we get this number from subtracting the amount of shares that they sold from the amount that the insiders have overall bought in total. So this is actually a very bullish sentiment for this particular company, especially as we see insiders buying more shares than they are selling. I also think it's important to track institutional ownership for stocks such as Mullen, especially stocks that are very speculative and have very low market caps. Recently, around 18 new funds have purchased the MULN stock, bringing the total number of funds according to the 13F form to around 39. They have really big backers, including BlackRock, Vanguard, Susquehanna International Group, and a plethora of other institutions that are actually very reputable. So I actually want to do a deep dive in what these companies are specifically buying. Going back to our Market Beat article, we can see that BlackRock, which is a phenomenal company that I personally am invested in, BlackRock Rock has opened a new position in Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, specifically in the fourth quarter, that was worth around $1.02 million. Bank of America Corp. DE also bought around $285,000 of this company. Deca Bank bought just over a quarter million dollars worth of this stock. Vickerman Investment Advisors Incorporated bought $254,000 worth of Mullen stock. And Geode Capital Management LLC bought just under a quarter 
quarter million because they allocated around $235,000 worth of capital in this particular company. So, it sounds like a lot of fantastic institutions are buying this company up. However, according to Weeble, Weeble says that institutions actually only make up around 3.82% of the overall shareholders for Mullenstock, while their insiders own around 36.84%, and others, which would include retail investors, own almost 60%, specifically coming in at 59.35. So I would honestly like to see even more institutional backing and investors into Mullenstock, and that's what I want to see before I personally invest, but as of right now, I am not invested into this company. I am just giving you information on it because this company is becoming very trendy and I want you all to be very careful, but I also want to expose you to potential very good trades or even a long-term investment, depending on how this company works out, on top of your own personal research. Now I want to talk about how this company can jump from $3 all the way up to $23 according to a very bullish analyst that we talked about in last video. So right now, Mullen stock is on its way to $23 per share according to Reddit, with Mullen being one of the most mentioned and popular stocks on Reddit right now. Mainly because the stock was worth over $13 in November of 2021 and now it's hovering at around $3. Investors are saying that Mullen can be considered the penny stock of the moment right now and it could even be good for long-term holders in this company. Now again, I personally am a long-term holder but not of this stock right now, however I am open-minded if this company actually cures their financials, I may invest or even trade off of this company. According to their financials, they are on the ropes right now and they really need to take on a lot of debt just to keep their head above water. The reason why we have seen this stock surge over 400% in the last month is because this stock is extremely trendy and they have a very low market cap. Their market cap is less than $100 million, which means it's very easy for retail investors to actually shift and move and increase the stock price. However, this could set us up for a huge pump and dump. Although I personally don't know if Mullen is a pump and dump as of right now, I just know that I personally will not invest into this company because their financials are just not doing it for me. They have way too much debt, they're barely treading above water, and it's a pre-revenue company. This company hasn't sold any electric vehicles. But yet, we still see see the Mullen stock price increasing because of the social media buzz on platforms such as YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, and from a plethora of different articles and news sources that are saying that Mullen stock could experience a super short squeeze. Although the short squeeze for Mullen stock is very probable, as of right now, we don't know if it's actually going to happen right now. Other investors are very bullish over the long term because Mullen is developing their next generation solid state polymer batteries, which can allow their vehicles vehicles to travel around 600 miles on a single charge. The only problem with this is that their vehicles aren't supposed to come out until around 2024, but they're going to start to be produced in 2023. So for me, I am so risk averse that I am not going to invest into a pre-revenue company, especially a pre-revenue company that has an extremely low market cap. However, due to the low market cap, this means that you could very easily double, triple, or even 10x your money with this stock if everything goes good. Good. Mullen has also received a lot of praise regarding their electric vehicles from magazines such as Car Buzz that says Mullen is the real deal and that they can stand and hold their own against other EV giants and electric vehicle manufacturers such as Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid, which have market caps of around $925 billion, $40 billion, and $42 billion respectively. So for this $100 million market cap company to even get close to $40 billion, we're talking about a company that could literally almost 400x if not even more so. However, although this does sound very appealing, again, fundamentally, until they actually start to produce their cars and they start bringing in revenues, I honestly can't give a proper price target for this company right now, which is why I personally am going to be staying out of it, but I do want to keep you all informed that this company can make stock traders a lot of money, especially if you decide to trade off of their catalyst, which is going to be their upcoming earnings report on the 30th, according to MarketBeat. Another thing that I want investors to be aware of is that their trading volume has been absolutely insane. Over the last 10 days, their average trading volume was around 250 million shares trading hands per day, 
while the company itself only has around 4.53 million Mullen stock in their float. So investors are saying that the amount of volume pouring into this stock could cause a fantastic uproar in its overall stock price and cause it to soar, which is honestly what we're seeing right now. Other investors argue that the only reason the stock fell from their price target and their original price or IPO price of $13 is due to inflation and rising interest rates, which caused the MULN stock to drop around 90% per share. Another thing encouraging investors to buy this company is their fear of missing out. This company has already 4 x in price and it has continuously climbed and it is still climbing. However, we don't know when this will end, but we do know that we want to invest into fundamentally sound companies and right now it's just too early to see if this company is fundamentally sound. Now again, I don't have anything against this company, but I want to make it extremely clear that I am not in this company right now. However, I am open-minded and I will change my mind once they start generating revenue, I can measure their EBI TDA, and I can even do a DCF model to get a proper price target based off of their free cash flows. Now, it could be argued that I could use their projections, and I could get their revenues from the amount of vehicles management things that they're going to sell, and I could multiply that by how much each of their vehicles are worth, and I could do the math that way, but honestly, I don't want to work with projections right now. I want solid, hard evidence and numbers of historical data that I can use without going out on a whim and just giving a price target that could easily change change. The good thing about Mullen is that if this is a legit company, they have fantastic growth opportunity. The global electric vehicle market is supposed to reach over a trillion dollars by 2026, and it's also growing at a CAGR or compounding annual growth rate of around 23%. And if Mullen can continuously increase their battery technology, which is extremely competitive in today's market, it could be very fruitful for the company. However, in the future, we don't know if their battery technology is going going to be as competitive because by 2024, who knows what the type of technology that Lucid to Tesla or even Neo for that matter is going to come out regarding their electric vehicles, specifically in their battery technology. So maybe a 600 mile range for an electric vehicle by 2024 is just going to be run of the mill and very average. Lastly, I want to mention that Mullen as a company hasn't really come out with any news as of late and the main buzz around the company is just due to social media outlets and investors that are literally trying to pump this stock to the moon. And although it is possible for this stock to go to the moon, investors should at least practice proper risk management. I'm not against investing into this company, but if you do decide to invest into this company, you have to be aware that this is a very speculative investment, especially if we compare it to other electric vehicle stocks, specifically Tesla. Speaking of Tesla, I actually want to say that one of the Morgan Stanley analysts that I reported on last time I talked about Tesla has reiterated his buy rating for Tesla stock and maintained his price target of $1,300 and he thinks that Tesla's TSLA stock will reach this price target of $1,300 before the year of 2022 ends. So that's something to be extremely bullish about, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below about the MULN stock. Tell me what your strategy is and what you think of this company, their financials, fundamentals, and the future. Subscribe if you are new, smash that like button right now, and I will see you in the next YT video.